Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Savvy Reacts, <laughs> and this is this is the oh man, I did oh the light went out. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, yeah, <laughs> outtakes. It says the lights are out. Okay, bye. <laughs> Take two. Okay, <laughs> we're back again. Um, yeah, now I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> this is my incredible boyfriend, Keith. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> His channel, we're gonna link it down below here. It's at Keith Buholtz. 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 It's a Buholtz. Sounds really German. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Irish, that's why. I'm just kidding. I do have Irish in me, but whatever. <clears throat> and today, guys, we've been planning to react together for a video for a long time and we haven't done it and we're finally doing it yes <laughs> so it's finally happening after like literally months <laughs> it's been so long i think since i first started my channel but yeah. and today i have already heard this song but i was really excited because he hasn't ever heard it and i wanted him to kind of get his reaction to the song but i haven't seen the video so this is my first time watching the video. This is his first time hearing the song and watching the video. And it is called Estella by Kenny Hoopla. And it's featuring Travis Barker, the goat. So you know, it's going to be a good song. <laughs> but seriously, you guys, Kenny Hoopla is a really amazing artist. He's kind of new to the scene a little bit. Um, so go stream his music, check him out. Definitely worth a listen, especially if you like the pop punk sound back from like the early 2000s, mid 2000s. That's the sound that I miss a lot because that was some of my favorite music growing up. So without further ado, guys, I'm excited. Let's get into the video. Yes. Let's review. <laughs> oh, man. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're doing both. No, I'm just kidding. Never done before. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I love this song. I gotta pause it because <laughs> I don't want to do too long before <laughs> I get right. <laughs> yeah, copyright. What do you think of the song so far? Oh, I like I like the guitar. It kind of makes me envious because I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> he wishes he could play the guitar. I wish I could play the drums. Um, oh, yeah. But Kenny Hoopla's voice is really cool, guys. It's got like that uh that emo kind of rock sound in it too it's got like emo pop like punk like there's just so many different sounds in his voice and i really feel it like i love his voice because that was like some of my favorite like i said some of my favorite music growing up listening to it in my high school and stuff like the main um who else boys like girls uh all time low like all of them they were like some of my favorite bands back then so this kind of gives me like that nostalgic feeling and i love that it's kind of starting to come back make a comeback you know mm -hmm. This is live too. This is? Yep. Wow. Yeah, this is like, this is the live video because there's actually like a music video for it. And, but he just released like the live video like four days ago. And I didn't watch it or anything because I wanted to make sure and react, reacted to it. Um, I haven't watched the music video either because I thought I would just react to the music video because, like I said, I'd already heard the song, but. I was like, nah, I'm gonna wait till I react with you because I figured you'd kind of like this song too because you like a lot of rock music as well. Yeah, makes me want to kick some stuff and get the day going. <laughs> he wants to cover tie <laughs> on the beat. <laughs> They're like 
all getting lost in the music, so I love it. Mm -hmm. Travis is the best drummer in the world, I think. I don't think anybody really can talk to him. Oh, the screen! Oh, this is him back so sorry. He just <laughs> did that backflip though. I love that because it was like right at the same time as the drums was going too. And then he just went boom and land. Oh my gosh, that is so cool because I used to be in gymnastics. So flipping was always really cool to me. I love to tumble. Gymnastics is hard, guys. Like y'all can sit there and say it's not a sport, but trust me. You don't know until you start doing some of them flips. <laughs> but I love how like into the music he is. Like you can tell that he's definitely passionate about music and that it's definitely like it runs in his like blood in his veins and stuff because <clears throat> I don't feel like you can really fake that, you know? Like mm. it's you either have it or you don't. And I feel like he definitely does. So I hope he starts getting like the recognition he deserves because he's kind of new. He's not super new. I feel like he's been making music since like 2017 or 2018 or something. But, I mean, he's like, he's really starting to come out with some really good songs. So I hope he really releases even more music this year because oh, yeah. I like his stuff. I really like it. You have anything to add? More backflips. <laughs> he wants to see more backflips. <laughs> he kicks too. I know. <laughs> this is intense. <laughs> Travis with the drum finish. That was so good. Um, that was really good. Yeah. And uh, like I said, like his we voice too. To oh, no ads, see. please. <laughs> We're talking. We reacted to um, the ads. Yeah. But like his voice is just so cool too because um, like it doesn't look like he's straining like when mm. he's singing too. And like it's weird because like his voice is just so, um, I don't know how to say it, like... Like, you would think it's, because it almost sounds like he's screaming, so you would think that he's kind of, like, straining, like, while he's singing and stuff, but it doesn't look like it on his face at all. You wouldn't be able to tell. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I think that's really cool as well. Um, it's not like Nickelback. <laughs> he just had to bring up Nickelback. He hates Nickelback. And I'm sure some of you guys in the comments are going to disagree, or agree, but... I love Nickelback, okay? Like, I don't care. I'm going to sit here and admit it on the YouTube. I don't care if you guys, like, okay, yeah, please don't unsubscribe. That'd be a great, that'd be a great <laughs> reaction <laughs> review. I know, like, could you, I would probably get so much, like, hate comments. <laughs> Everybody be like, all right, I'm unsubscribing right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, like, I don't know. I just really like that song. It like gets you fired up, you know? I'm always, I always have so much energy when I listen to this song. Like, this is like a gym song, too. If you go to the gym and play this, like, nobody's gonna mess with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, <laughs> But I think it's just one that, like, you can just get after, like, the weights and stuff and kind of just feels like anything's possible when you listen to that song. It just gets me that fired up. I love it. What do you think? Oh, I liked it. I've never heard that before. It's my kind of style of music. I like the rock. I like the the beats, the drums, guitars. Oh, yeah? Because you love the guitar, too. Yeah. And Travis is, like I said, the goat on the drums. Like... I don't know, there's just not many out there like Travis. And I mean, he's been playing the drums for so long too. Um, so yeah, I really, and I love that Travis is kind of getting like more and more with like just different artists. Like he did that all that with Machine Gun Kelly. He's worked with Ian Dior, which is kind of like a newer artist. I mean, he's not super new, but he's been around for like a couple years, I think. At least maybe longer, guys, I don't really know. I haven't listened to his stuff till like recent, or I think last year was the first time I heard him. And then, yeah, I mean, he's just been working with all kinds of different artists. And I love that he's, like, working with, like, newer artists and stuff, too, which is really cool because he's, like, kind of just blessing people's music as well, you know, because he's such a good drummer. And I feel like the drums is, like, a it's really... Hard. Well, I mean, yeah, it's hard, too, but it's, like, a really... Um, <clears throat> it's really a key thing in certain songs and music and stuff, too. Mm. Like the drums can kind of like make or break a song sometimes in my opinion just because like I love the drums and 
I really enjoy listening to the drums, so if like somebody isn't playing the drums that good, I'm gonna notice. I'm gonna be like, what is this? Call them like, out. <laughs> Kill in the song. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I feel like anybody I've really any kind of band I've really listened to and stuff like that, I feel like everybody's pretty solid on the drums. And I feel like if they weren't, they probably wouldn't be making music, you know? They did the boot. Yeah. They wouldn't have even made it in the band. <laughs> Making the band get out, like you're out. We get rock band. Uh, we'll call you. Yeah, <laughs> they rock. boo you and kick you off the stage. <laughs> rock band is so much fun though. Like, may and then, but like, I remember when I first started playing it, and I was like getting booed a lot, and I was like, oh man, I feel like this is real life. <laughs> it's so real. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I really like that song. Love the video as well. Like I said, that was like a live performance, like a live little setup they had somewhere. Um, I'm not 100% sure where, but it looked like just kind of like a room. They were all just kind of in, just chilling, and uh, love the black and white that they chose to do with it as well. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, not many, many music videos are really in black and white too much anymore, so that was kind of different. And like I said, I just, I like this, this sound. I like that it's coming back a little bit. I like that artist or starting to come back with that music because I feel like for a while there, it just hit like a dry spell like hardly anybody was doing like pop punk anymore or any kind of like really solid like emo kind of like punk which like chemical <laughs> romance <laughs> well, yeah, I, I would hope so AFI does not but, ring a bell so you like the song? yeah gets an A from me grade A <laughs> A plus <laughs> is hard to get because that's the, that's the peak yeah, he's like, that's it. Like, an A-plus is the last. So it's like the best of the best. Nothing can really beat it. That's how he grades stuff. On a curve. <clears throat> on a, yeah, a very tight curve. <laughs> Just go go watch his videos on his channel. He's a tough critic on rating his food. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I know he'll be like, are you sure? You don't want to rate it that. Because then once, once something's a 10, it's... No see, there's no beating it. <laughs> so <laughs> nothing on his channel gets a 10. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad that you liked it. I'm glad I introduced you to a song that you can kind of listen to. And hopefully you guys liked it as well. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but hopefully you enjoyed us reacting to it anyways. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure and leave it a big thumbs up. <laughs> make sure to subscribe. So you guys never <laughs> miss a post from me. Turn on those post notifications so you guys really never miss a post from me. I always like to do that though. Even though I like put it on my head in one of my videos. But I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your week. Staying safe out here. And I'm sending you guys all the love. He's sending you guys all the love too. I am all the love. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>